Hi, I'm James Gladstone, Chief of Sports Medicine at Mount Sinai Health System in New York City. I'm going to be demonstrating to you an all inside ACL reconstruction using the rigid loop adjustable button on the femur and the rigid loop suture loop and rigid loop clip on the tibia. For this procedure, we'll be uh, demonstrating an all inside ACL reconstruction uh, using for femoral fixation, the uh, rigid loop adjustable button, and on the tibial fixation, the rigid loop suture loop, uh, along with the rigid loop clip. And these come in uh, two sizes. One is 12 millimeters, one's 20, 20 millimeters. And uh, you can decide on the size you want to use at the time of, uh, of the fixation of the tibial side. I'm going to place the suture loop around the post. We're going to want about a 65 millimeter graft. We'll do the same thing with um, the RLA. So here we're pulling with the striped green and following with the white and green. And you'll see the button come into view. Here it is. Now Let's see, so here, we've got the purple mark at the entrance of the tunnel, so it looks like we're nicely set. I'm pulling hard on the graft, it's not moving, so the button's locked on the lateral cortex of the femur. Here on the outside, we're going to grab, we're going to take the, um, the suture, we're going to take this suture, Place it through the rigid loop suture loop. And I like to place a luggage tag configuration to help hold it right at the, right there. And what this does is it allows me to pull the suture in through the tibial tunnel without risking shortening the suture loop until I'm ready to do so. And since we don't have any button on the tibial side, we don't have to worry about the graft going through the, the tunnel. There it comes. No, no. There it is. We're bringing it through. And here we go. What I want to do again is I want to place my finger in the loop so that I don't unnecessarily tighten it. And here I'm trying, there it goes, boom. And I can put some tension on the graft and cycle it to make sure it sits down nice and firmly. Now's the time where you still have a choice of whether to use the, um, the regular clip or the uh, XL clip. Um, you definitely want to use the XL clip if you're worried about having violated the, the cortex of the tibia at all, or if, if you're uncomfortable with, the, with uh, how strong the bone is. I think in, in this case, we looked down the, the socket and saw that we had good uh, cortex. Um, so I'm going to go with the regular 12 millimeter button as opposed to the 20 millimeter. So here, each, each clip comes with a little green suture that you can hold on to. Because the tricky part here is placing the, uh, the graft through, or the, the suture loop, through this little eyelid here. There's a little hole with a slot. And that has to fit right between the two strands. So now we're locked in place. We can use this to also orient ourselves. For the small clip, I want to try to lay it transversely across the hole as we as we uh, tighten it down. For the, um, for the bigger one, I don't think it makes a difference. So again, I have it at uh, 20 degrees, posterior drawer applied, and then here I tighten it down. And what we can do is, you can have you just gently hold this so that as it tightens down, now I'm fully seated against the tibia. I'm giving it some really hard pulls and you feel the sutures sort of bouncing back and forth once you've maxed out on the knot. And that's it. Following ACL 
reconstruction, my patients go home the same day. Usually they're done under regional block as well as uh, general anesthesia. So hopefully the pain is minimal for the first couple of days. I keep them on crutches, partial weight bearing in a hinge knee brace locked in extension during walking for the first four weeks. Uh, they begin their range of motion program immediately with uh, a stress on achieving full extension as quickly as possible.